Now today in the rules we're going to look at water hazards uh, which have uh, certainly swallowed a few of my balls over the years. Trevor, um, water hazards, they're not all water hazards are they? No, there's also lateral water hazards. Um, water hazards are defined by yellow, yellow stakes and all lines, and lateral water hazards by red stakes okay. and all lines. Now, how do things operate differently with the different water hazards? Well, from a water, water hazard relief options, uh, you keep the point where the ball last crossed that margin and the flag stick and go back as far as you like. You also have the option to play from where you last played. Okay. Uh, they're basically the two options you have under the water hazard rule. Okay. So you're not going back on the line of your shot, you're going back again with the point and the flag stick in line. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting yep. yeah. Or where you last played. Yep. Um, the lateral water hazards, point where the ball last crossed the margin, drop the ball within two club lengths. They allow you to drop the ball within two club lengths. Also, you're allowed to go on the opposite margin, equidistant to that last point, okay. and drop a ball on the other side of the hazard within two club lengths. So can you go over to the other side of the if hazard? If it suits you, yeah. That's okay. an option that's available. I tell you, I just learned something. I didn't know that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and obviously, you're allowed to keep the flag in line in the point where you last cross and go back as far as you like, and also play from where you last played. Okay. Um, the penalty for both types of water hazards? One shot penalty. Okay. Now, there was an interesting um, one at the Masters uh, last year, I think, where Tiger was on the 13th green in two, and he putted actually into Ray's Creek at the front of the green. Um, what was the situation there? Well, he was allowed, that was a water hazard that's marked yellow, that's in front of the 13th green there. Because of course, your ball will be crossing it to get... It's, it's across the margin, the line even though play. the margin's on the green, yeah. the green side there. He was allowed to play from where he last played. Okay. Drop the ball, but in this case, he was on the, he was on the putting machine, he placed the ball there. Yeah. Played from where he last played. I think he exercised a very smart option in those circumstances. Yeah, you obviously you've got to weigh up all your options. It's, you know, it's good to know them. Because mm. um, you know you can get some great benefit out of dropping the mm. right. It always comes back to the, knowing your definitions and knowing your rules, doesn't it? Yeah, know, know your options and taking that moment maybe to think clearly through your options. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thanks for your help. Please. And we hope that that helps you in working out what to do when confronted by water.